What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add a smart back to top button to your Unbounce landing page. It's a smart button because it doesn't appear when your landing page is first clicked on. So like over here, this is our landing page. You can see there is no button. It's smart because it appears only as soon as you start to scroll. Okay, so something that looks like this. As you can see, a little arrow popped up in the bottom right, which is where these arrows usually are. And if you click on the button, you're taken back all the way to the top. So something pretty cool, something standard that some longer websites have, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So here we are in our Unbounce editor. We will be using some code from this page. I didn't come up with the code, okay? I'm just using this website and pulling stuff up from what they have here. So the first thing we have to do is add some sort of image. It doesn't have to be an arrow. It can be anything you want, but the thing that makes the most sense is probably an arrow. So we're just gonna drag an image and you can select anything. So in, our, in my case, I typed in arrow and I selected an arrow that looks like that. You can type anything in. So for example, unbalanced public images, that means these are free images that you can use. You can use something small like this. You know, one of these arrows is probably not gonna be noticeable. So I like to use a bigger arrow, um, maybe a green one even. But of course, what you would use is you, you can go to any, uh, you know, just go to Google, type in up arrow and just find a free image or pay for one. Okay, so now that we have this, um, you can add this arrow anywhere to your page, okay? It does not have to be in the bottom right, add it anywhere. So for example, I'm gonna put it here, okay? Next, what we're gonna do is grab this code here. So go to the website that I'm gonna link. Um, it's community.unbounce.com slash how to add a smart button. Okay, again, I'll link it in the description. We're going to copy this, go back to our Unbounce, open a style sheet, and add a new style sheet. We're gonna put it here. And let's name this because we have a few other style sheets from other projects that we did. Check out my Unbounce playlist to see what those are. We did a bunch of cool little things. But let's name this smart back to top button. Okay, so we're gonna click done here. We're not done, we will have to revisit this, okay? Um, but let's just add the JavaScript first. So we're gonna also add a new JavaScript. Let's go back here. And we're going to copy all this, this code. We're gonna put it before body and tag. And then let's rename this also smart uh, back to top button, okay? It's important to name because look at all these things that we did before. We did hint text, we did scrolling header, we did, you know, tabbed content, uh, sticky bars. So name it, it's gonna be easier. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to click on the button, okay, or whatever image you have. Uh, yeah, not a button, an image. And so copy the ID, so double click that ID there. Double click that. And then let's go back into our style sheet. Let's select the smart back to top button. And we have to replace this here with the new ID. So that's the ID of our button, okay? That's gonna appear, that's gonna be styled, it's gonna be located in the bottom, you know, this is where it's located. So it's in the bottom, you know, bottom right of your page. Then we're gonna go to JavaScript, select the smart back to top, and over here, we have to change that as well, okay? And that's it, okay, that is it. So now all you have to do is just check it and make sure that it doesn't conflict with other code, which it could potentially could. We have a bunch of JavaScript from different things. Uh, so let's just republish this, take a look at what it looks like, and that's it, we should be on our way. This one is a green button, so let's just open this page here in a new tab. So this one was a blue button that I showed you as an example. Um, we have a bunch of pop-ups here, let me just remove that. I don't know why that's red, gotta fix it. But as we scroll down, as you can see, the little button appeared, right? And it's a nice little fade animation so it doesn't just pop up. And I like how it's smart so it doesn't just show up here all the time, it only shows up when you start scrolling, which is awesome. And if we click on it, boom, we have that, okay? So that's it, that's how you create this little smart back to top button. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked this video, you will probably like my Unbounce playlist where I go through a bunch of these things as well as my Google Ads playlist where I teach you how to run your ads on Google. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.